no i agree i think i think buddhism nailed it um i think if i wanted to if i want to explore the idea of a physical god again which i don't believe in um i would probably lean more to polytheistic faiths like hinduism and uh, even uh, you know norse mythology and things like that because um again i just i don't buy that idea that there's something looking out for everyone and just the eternal good in the world i don't i don't buy that but in those religions it's very much um there's effectively another plane of higher beings but who are essentially still doing everything that we're doing like they have their own problems to deal with none of them are perfect yeah, like uh, they Greek might mythology be... i think is the best for that yeah, it's exactly. It's yeah, great. Like they got their own, they got their own beefs, and some of them have no. their flaws, and some of them are just better at some things. But like, no, no. it's just like us, but they're just a little better. And like, I could buy into that because like, it's kind of cool. Yeah, the, right. The, see, the problem with Greek mythology is that Zeus fucks all these animals and just creates all these creatures. And I was like, yo, stop! <laughs> but that's stop what I'm saying. Making these demigods, bro. We don't have it. What is this? It's a half fish. <laughs> he's like Zeus. Is like I don't know. Like this thing looked pretty cute. I don't know. I was saying, he's like, sometimes you gotta fuck a fish. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> you see Magic Carp's lips? Uh, <laughs> how, do you, how do you think you turned to uh, a Gyarados? Gyarados, exactly. I, you think he just splashed one. all over the territory? Nah, bro. <laughs> Something happened there. No, but you, honestly, like, there, there's that side of... I, I know you're joking, and I know it's funny. Perhaps if we were back in time, we're people who took Greek mythology. We'd be um, killed, bro yeah took it very seriously like we'd be very offensive and whatnot but uh the truth is there's there's a bit of humor and something it's very human like i don't exactly i didn't want to say that because like no i don't want to go fuck animals and shit like i don't want to say i empathize with zeus but yeah, okay a... bye okay bye. <laughs> <laughs> says the guy who just got a brand new fish last week <laughs> i haven't seen it since Oh, he's like $300 he, carp, he's, man. He's literally like, yeah, I want the one that looks like magic carp because like, what? He's like, you know, magic carp. <laughs> Have you <laughs> seen it? Like <laughs> Police are uh, walking around the fish store like. <laughs> Give me your most Jay Z fish you got. <laughs> Jay Z. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you know, like. Sorry to to jump into your, your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, why? It's interesting that like Greek mythology doesn't have the same level of seriousness and, and like global belief system behind it, like the same way like Catholicism does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, and this might be what... obviously like a, histor a history thing, which is maybe why it should be continued to be a mandatory course in high school, so that I would know stuff like this, but I don't. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Maybe we have to review one of our episodes to talk about why Greek mythology and why it's why it phased out. I assume it had something to do with Rome, because uh, Roman was very. Um, I, I thought I thought it had to do Catholic with the fact that Greek mythology. Are they not? Yeah, I got Rome's in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, wait, am I? Didn't. Uh... Well, because there's, there's there <laughs> is not Roman, geologists. We get there it. is Roman mythology as well, which are, is very similar to Greek mythology, but no, Rome is not in Greece. No, but then didn't the Roman Catholicism take over, and would that maybe play a role in oh, why? I see. That, that's oh, right. That's where I was saying. And I was I, like, oh, I was like, oh, okay. fuck. I thought uh, you meant the fall of Rome, and then they stopped. No, leaving, but yes, no, like, no, like Catholicism, Rome, like Roman Catholics. I assume that's potentially why then, like Greek mythology phased out. Right. Yes. But right. so it, it, maybe that is. I, I, I'm not a historian or a, or a, a geologist. So from, uh, from what so, I understood, the reason is because Greek mythology was strictly Greece. Like, it didn't really spread out further than that. Most of Europe then translated to Catholicism uh, and then other parts, obviously, certain that, Muslim faiths. On, no, actually, on that Greece, note, why is Thor not called Greece Lightning as, like, a nickname? <laughs> He's not Greek. <laughs> Thor's Norse. Yeah. Like Scandinavian mythology. Yeah, Greece. <laughs> Like, if, Zeus if, should have been Greece Lightning. Yeah, oh, sorry, if we, that's, if, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> this guy, I'm they're sure, all the same. I'm they're sure all the same. Have, they're all the same. Rome is my um, favorite place in uh, in Italy. Oh, I actually said it Greece. is. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to mock you and say Greece. Um, but no, uh, Greek mythology actually did spread to the northern parts of Africa as well. Um So, which was actually very interesting. A lot of the, I mean, back in the day, some of the mythology up there 
uh, uh, was similar to a lot of Greek mythology, like the idea of um, Poseidon or well, what's the what's the counterpart? Nep- is it Neptune? Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. 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 yeah see, I, I was mixing them up. I, I meant to say Zeus, but uh, uh, yeah, like those stories. I took Greek mythology in university in like in my first year, and it's su- it's so fascinating. The stories are sick. Kronos? Mm-hmm. Kronos is just the, the intent, most intense story of him just trying to eat his kids. Yeah, and they just happen to they happen to beat him. Not even all. Wasn't it just Zeus? No, it was Zeus, yeah. Hades, and Poseidon. Apparently. Yeah, but one of the kids, some of the kids died. I thought there were seven kids. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah? yes. I could be getting those numbers wrong, but there's a bunch of kids, a bunch of them died. But yes, those three went wolf disaster. Well, first thing you do is have kids and just eat them. I was like, okay. Which is interesting because that's actually that, that happens in nature, right? Yeah. Like, like if animals. If, yeah, animals. Bears, bears do it. Where they'll eat their if they if they know that there's not enough food to sustain, they'll eat one of the kids. Yeah, same um, thing. Yeah. yeah, survival practice, but uh, bears will do that if their cub is like sick or like basically debilitated or it's like you're like basically dead. Just scarf up its kid. See you later. Yeah. So so do Mormons. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm totally. That's joking. why you never see young Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> They'll make it, man. 